All right, we are out here in Livonia, Michigan, and we're going to take a nice little tour of vintage vibes, antiques, collectibles, and vinyl. So come along with me, my friends, as we check it out. <laughs> All right, so we're just getting inside of the uh, front door here, and we're going to start at the right. And as you can see right in front of me, we have the uh, nice little pumpkin Halloween decorations. Um, however, we're going to start here. Let me zoom out with this. Uh, with this. Um, wow, I'm having a moment. This display case with a bunch of different serveware in it, and it's actually 50% uh, off right now. Looks like we have this Polish pottery that's um, going for $150 right there. And I know some of you have asked me to tell the prices of this stuff, so I'm going to do my best to do that on more of my videos. And then we have uh, that platter right there for $29.99. And uh, we have uh, another display case right here with all sorts of different items. Um, look at that. There's a little Cupid doll. You don't see that every day. It's for, uh, going for $10. We have uh, the plated clothing brush, $14.95 on that. And then down here, Looks like they have some various uh, perfumes, maybe colognes. I'm seeing prices of $2, $5, $20, $30 and $30 for the bigger ones. I found this uh, limited liquor decanters asking uh, $60 on that. There's a, another display case. Now, if you don't know what these little red bulbs are, these are um, antique fire extinguisher bulbs. And what you would do is you would take these bulbs and throw them at a fire and uh, hope that they would extinguish it. These are becoming more and more rare. And the price on these is $25 and $35. And that's actually a really good price. Because um, like I said, you don't really see a lot of these anymore and uh, next to that they have this vintage French gooseneck um, lamp it's on sale right now for $150 and next to that is a chrome craft art deco um, serving craft and that is going for $110 there is a uh, little side room um, next to that that has some various items in it. Uh, just some stuff that I'm going to show. Um, they have a Darth Vader up there for 30 bucks and uh, some toys. And then next to that is another display case. Looks like they got some uranium glass. This one right here is $28, and they have a uh, no parking by uh, police order sign. That one is $90, and then let's check out some of these small pieces here. We have, uh, this looks like a... Um, fur and some traps on top and this is a vintage badger pelt for a hundred and fifty dollars <throat> oh and then I just noticed this this is a um, insurance plaque that would go out on the front of a building like for fire departments and they're only asking twenty dollars for that if that is an authentic piece that is a really cheap price. They have these um, Batman uh, action figures here. And the one for Batman, they're asking $30 for, and then Robin is $15. And then, of course, my favorite is the Joker, $9. 
and the one next to that, the Riddler, is ten dollars. And they have uh, some coins. Let's see if the price is anywhere from thirty to one hundred and twenty-five dollars from uh, different countries. <clears throat> And then it looks like I found the book section here. They have uh, three uh, cabinets full of different books. I don't see any prices listed on them, but I would imagine they're probably not that expensive. And then right next to that, they have some more books and a couple of uh, DVD videos. Oh, I just noticed these uh, really interesting uh, clocks. I'm not sure if these were wall mounted or what, but let me take a look here. So this says Thomas Triple Decker wall clock, $600 for that. So that is really neat. Check out those clocks. That one looks like it has Thomas Jefferson on it. I found this, uh, coffee or coffee mug or maybe a beer stein whichever way you decide to look at it but it has a uh a really long nose of richard nixon <laughs> found the baseball card section um looks like uh, we got some uh, tigers giants astros the Yankees, I'm seeing prices from $1.99 to $24.99. I know nothing about baseball cards. If you know something about baseball cards, leave a comment in the comment section because uh, maybe you might be able to teach me something. And right behind the uh, baseball card cabinet, there is a, uh, a booth that has various items. We have uh, some what I like to call dishes, but I recently got yelled at for that, but some serveware. Looks like the uh, uranium glass. Oh, check this out. I just noticed this above it. We got the Tank Command game, and they are uh, asking $49 for the Tank Command game. They have uh, some different prints and uh, artwork. Looks like we have on the uh, baby here. Sixty-seven fifty, sixty-seven dollars and fifty cents. We have the Last Supper for thirty-two ninety-nine, and then below that we have some um, Life magazines and just some various housewares. And uh, also right next to that are some more uh, serveware and some dolls, with a uh, cabinet of some uh, salt and pepper shakers. They have the uh, praying uh, baby boy and girl here for $19.99. And some uh, 7 Up bottles. Let's see here. $2.99. Right next to that cabinet, we have a, a nice colorful arrangement of uh, some what I would call vases up top, and then some pink serveware, and then some green serveware. And right below that looks like some china. All right, made it to the next section here. Um, just some various uh, items, nothing of significance in my opinion. They do have these uh, amber um, ashtrays and then kind of a multicolor ashtray there. They're asking $15 for that. And uh, some various advertisement. The Coca-Cola sign I already looked at was 40 bucks for that. They have the Molson Canadian for 30 And then the, uh, the Stroh Light, they're asking for $25. And then there's uh, glasses and um, some mugs below that. And then some more glasses. Next to that, they have the Woodward Dream Cruise sign. Let's check that out. A hundred bucks for that. If you're not from Michigan and you don't know about the Woodward Dream Cruise, do a quick search and check that out. It is a uh, very interesting event that is actually free. I found these really neat tiki 
mugs. These are uh, $75. I'm assuming that means $75 a piece and not for the set. There is four of them. They all have $75 on them. And right below that is another interesting set of uh, Orchids of Hawaii. $25 a piece for those. And then right below that are some uh, bowls at least what I'm calling bowls, for $45 each. Here's the uh, vinyl portion of the store, or one of, the, one of them. They've got various vinyl records. Got $4, $9, eight, um, ten. $10. So, yeah. Got the uh, Joker there. 15 on both of the jokers actually some elvis memorabilia looks like we've got 15 dollars on the one on the left 18 dollars and one in the middle got the uh, halloween pumpkins up there for 85 i found this uh dracula figurine here in this display case for 30 dollars and next to that is some uh, red wings items they have the little bobbleheads for 10 bucks, and the pucks in the back are 30. Below that are uh, some cameras and some Stroh's related items. And then below that are some cards and some uh, little toy trucks there. The toy trucks are $90. And then below that are some. Uh, belt buckles of various designs and various prices but i'm seeing some for ten dollars twelve dollars and fifteen dollars <throat> i'm kind of caught in between another vinyl section and book section on my left and as well as a vinyl slash cd slash dvd section on my right And now I have made my way to the toy section and I have to give props to whoever the dealer is of this because every single piece has a price tag on it. Uh, that's quite impressive. So let's take a quick look over here. We have uh, some various Lego sets. I'm looking at uh, 45, 35, 60 dollars, 25 for some of the smaller ones. And they have an entire shelf of those. A couple of Pikachus to my right going for $13 there. And then to my left are some more Lego sets for, I'm seeing $25, $60. The ones up top, $25. And then looking over here at this wall, our uh, various action figures which again I don't know anything about toys or what they go for so if you do please leave a comment in the comment section and help teach me because um, it's just not an area that I'm familiar with but I, I'm seeing five dollars and to fifteen dollars I mean it seems reasonable from what I can tell they have this display case here with different Lego figurines inside of it. All sorts of different characters. Um, some of the prices are eight, nine, 10, 11, and twelve dollars. And like I said, there is an entire display case of those Legos figurines. And coming next to that, we have some Pokemon for $20 to $25. Dungeons and Dragons for $5, $12. The uh, classic Funko Pops for $10. And the rest of those found the home furnishing section this uh, set of speakers they are 
asking 129 for her. And then next to that, with the uh, Kenwood, I'm assuming it's a radio, for 129 as well. A couple of record players there. They have some uh, artwork on the wall here, 30 35 and $45. They have this nice cedar chest that has a, uh, a design on top for $250. I made it over into the next section where they have this uh, wooden writing desk that they are asking $280 for. And it also has the, uh, the top piece there. They have this nice, uh, they have uh, this display case with different women's jewelry in it. And next to that, uh, some model cars. That one is $32.50. And the die cast ones here, looking at $15. They have two antique typewriters. The one on the left is 110 and the one on the right is $60. I thought this uh, lamp was really neat. It has the uh, bar globe on top. They're only asking $39.99 for that. It's the Cuddy Sark Blended Scotch Whiskey. Here is another book slash media section. All of that is uh, books right there. And this looks like it's uh, records right here. But in the back, they have some pieces of serveware. Up top there, they have the cake pans. Like seven bucks on those. And they have uh, these old antique lamps looking at $9. And just some other various surfwear pieces. So I found this interesting piece. It says Vintage Elfco Ship's Head. It has $500 crossed out and on sale for $250. And that's kind of a smaller version of this one that's over here and it says the same thing on it the vintage elfco ship's head with a thousand dollars uh crossed out and on sale for 600. and then within that section it's just kind of some more other various pieces they have the uh candlestick uh floor lamp right there and that is going for $120. It says that it's brass marble standing lamp. And check out the one that's next to it, too. That one's pretty neat. What do they want for that? 40 bucks. Walking through, I just found this uh, Western Flyer antique bicycle, $850. Special edition. Check that out. And this is kind of like in another little section of the store. So let's go ahead and check her out here. We have the uh, healthful food uh, bins. Looks like they're asking $39.99 for the uh, big one there. They have some uh, other antique kind of home pieces the Maxwell House coffee $8.99 so not too bad of prices not too bad at all we have the cuckoo clock $39.99 the uh, the strap for sharpening your um, shaving blades your straight blades $39.99 on that and then what do they want for this clock 79 bucks. I just wanted to get a better shot of that Western Flyer um, bicycle because it just looks like it's an amazing piece. 
It looks like it's in really good condition. I don't know if it's been restored or not, but if it hasn't, that's just, uh, that's amazing. I found this uh, wooden, at least I think it's wood, vintage, or I'm sorry, daisy vase for 50 bucks right there. And right next to that is a glass one for uh, 68. And then there's this multicolored lamp up here. Looks like it's red and green for $30. And it says cast iron on it. And then I've seen this sign, so who can uh, resist going in here with that sign? So let's take a look. And uh, greeting us on the left is Mr. Elvis Presley himself in the uh, golden suit. Have some uh, wall pieces right there. Got a nice little pirate for twelve dollars. Got this uh, desk lamp, twenty-five dollars. On that, let's take a look at the uh, the cabinet here, display case. They have a little swinging frog. Elvis Presley uh, driver's license driver's license is there for uh, four bucks we have the uh, Budweiser advertising piece there for $59.95 and then the innocent blood poster for uh, 50 bucks on that and then some more vinyl records which I'm not gonna go through all of them and uh, next to that, just some various pieces. They have this uh, vintage clock right there for 20 bucks. The uh, Thinkatron for $49.95. And then the Cabbage Patch Kids for $95. They have a black lacquer inlay table for $195. And then I also noticed this, uh, this sign antiques grandma bought it mom threw it out i bought it back so this is kind of a uh, housewares section they have uh, some various serveware here serving pieces and uh, also some more serving pieces but they have some really cool salt and pepper shakers got the uh, corn right there and ones, the blue ones look pretty cool. And then there is uh, some wall advertising. And right next to that, some more serveware. And then I just kind of wanted to do a, a little yeah, quick overview of the saying. store yeah. here. So there's yeah. a section back there, and then there's a section here, and then this section has a little serveware in it. And another cabinet with some more. So I think I've just kind of found the uh, prized pieces here. These are uh, ceramic uh, serveware from Japan from the 40s that appear to be hand painted as well and then look at this collection they have the uh, salt and pepper shakers there and the teacups and below that are the uh, teapots as well really really cool all right, so I'm just getting outside of the uh, Vintage Vibes Antiques Collectible, Collectibles wow, and Vinyl Store, and a uh, pretty neat store. I got a chance to talk with the uh, owners. They're really friendly people, and uh, the prices seem pretty good. So if you like these types of videos, go ahead and check out my other ones. I do other antique stores, uh, festivals, unique locations, so on and so forth. So uh, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.